Traders, investors, peeps, I'm off today. Yes, it's sick. I love it. Well, got some stuff and things to talk about today. Nano dimensioning. So I still haven't got back in these guys. We played them a little while ago back in here in this range. They did the offering and they ran down. Now what's interesting is they had this offering over here and they've actually rallied fairly quickly. However, keep in mind, I'd have to check. It's either this one or this one. Be willing to bet it's this one. Offering, offering, offering. So, so I'm not saying they're going to have another offering, but I'm kind of saying they might have another offering. So just be careful. I regret not jumping in over here, but I'm sure as shit not jumping in over here. So I'll wait for this to come down, wait for something to happen, wait to get some news. I'm actually going to call the peeps after this video because I would love to give you guys the down and dirty, what I saw, what I did when I was there, you know, what the product looks and feels like, and I really would love to touch base with them and, and see if some of the things that they were working on when I was there, you know, they've, they've kind of sussed out and ironed out those parts of the design. Because as this product is very interesting, there is other players doing it. However, this seemed like the most promising of the bunch, and this is the one that the company I worked for at the time went with. And so we did an evaluation on it. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is the only one of the group that is publicly traded. That said, this is the only player I've actually been to their location and seen the product in action. However, I know there's other guys doing it. And so it's been about a year and a half since I've been in California now. So I have to believe that they've made some progress. But I'd like to hear from Name's mouth, so I'm going to give him a call. Hopefully he answers. If not, I'll, uh, I'll just call headquarters and see what's going on. So, anyways, wanted to talk about NMD. I love these guys. Hopefully we can talk about them in depth more. But I figured it was worth getting a video out today because, man, they're cranking. And they broke this level again. So I figured it was worth mentioning, watch out. Or if you're trying to get in, maybe wait. Because I joked about it over here that they are going to have another offering, and then they did have one. And so here we are again. So I'm going to joke about it, and if I'm right, then I'll claim it. And then if it's not right, then I was just joking. Right? So! I called on Friday, left a message, probably just need to shoot an email. But anyways, since I didn't talk to them, I started digging around their website a little bit. LDM. And I remember that being thrown around, that, that word, that that name. So as I told you when I was there, there was a little bit of, of, of human interaction, some calibrating, some dialing in, some stuff like that. And they were talking about this software, this this upgrade for the Dragonfly system that was going to remove a lot of that. Anyways, if you read this little passage here, it says, State of the art, lights out, digital manufacturing, the LDM technology requires little or no operator intervention. So that is incredible. So that was the only drawback I really saw with this thing when we were evaluating it, was there was a little bit of a level of human interaction that seemed like it could have been ironed out, and they've done that now. And so again, I really want to talk to them and hear it from their mouth, but if this is what I'm thinking it is, then they've done it. This thing is killer. Will it ever replace a board house? No, not at all. But when you did a quick turn, you're just doing some prototyping, you just need a board spun out real quick, there you go. You don't have to send it overseas for a quick turn. And even a quick turn over there, you know, you got to deal with delivery times. And then a quick turn house in the U.S., well, shit, that's, that's not cheap, man. So this kind of product is huge and is going to be even bigger in the future. Especially, you know, as they dial this thing in further. Although I think it's at a very competitive and advantageous position at this point now that they have this technology baked into their deal. Now, enough of that. Let's talk about the plays for next week. Plays for next week. Can I even say this anymore now that we're monetized? Little little green plants. Little green love plants. That is the move for next week, boys. So lawmakers were to pass a bill on Monday. However, there's been some disputes and it's kind of slowed it down. I'll link this in the down there so you can check it out yourself. But read this right here. It's not disappointing. We still have time. I think some legislators are thankful that we slowed down. But I'm hopeful and the voters have spoken. Peeps have spoken. The peeps want to be smoking, and it's just a matter of time. And if anything, this is good because it's not going through on Monday. 
this will give you a little bit more time to get into some of these guys. Look at these guys in here studying together. It brings a tear to the eye. Good work, boys. Shout out to Buzz for finding the news on Friday. So Friday, this came through on the Benzinga Newswire, and this is what was causing the move for that sector. And it wasn't just, you know, SNDL. I mean, we saw it across the boards. ACB skyrocketed. I mean, all of them. All the green plant stocks. GRWG, BFF, SNDL, a little bit riskier because it's a penny. ACB, I'm sure there's plenty I'm forgetting. But they're all going to move. I mean, look at the gappery that happened, right? And a couple of the other ones I'm going to be looking at tomorrow for some moves. COCP, and I don't know, we'll have to see. I haven't really finished my DD for this weekend. Probably going to get a study session going after this. And we'll dig through some stuff together for tomorrow's list. So I'll be sure to post that tonight. But for now, this is what I got. I got COCP, and I got all the green plant stocks. Those are going to be what I'm looking at. Also, great time to point this out. Some of the companies we talk about are winners. They're buy and holds, you know, whatever. But most of the time, they're just plays, man. I don't really like the company. I just like the technicals, okay? So please, don't just buy and hold anything that we talk about. I can't hold your hand through trades, okay? I have a full-time job. Maybe one day... I won't have as many responsibilities, and we could go frolicking through the fields of Wall Street, trading together, having a jolly old time. But one day. So, that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. Hit the thing, do the stuff, join the Discord. Yes.